Hi everyone, it's Jamie Seaver 23. I'm doing your weekend messages. Keep in mind that these are generals, much like the tarot card of the day, but it's for the weekend. So, um, this is for Saturday and Sunday. These are, and I'm using um, Dorian Virtue cards. There's no uh, Rider Waite cards for this. So, these are your weekend messages. These are for all signs, this may or may not resonate. Keep that in mind. All right, so this is what we got going on. We've got Ray. We have Archangel Uriel. Thank you, Archangel Uriel. And then we got Rosetta. So yoga and exercise are essential to your well-being, peace of mind, and spiritual growth right now. So some of you might decide that you want to join a yoga class, that you would like to um, that you'd like to start exercising, that you'd like to start um, running, maybe go with a group, decide to organize a group to do this, maybe change your eating habits. Some of you are going vegan. Some of you are going... Um, uh, vegetarian, some of you are cutting out junk, processed foods. So whatever it is that you're planning on doing, this is a this is a very, very good choice. And then we got Archangel Uriel. Thank you, Archangel Uriel. Your emotions are healing, which enables you to open to greater love. I will help you release anger and unforgiveness from your heart and mind. So some of you may be faced in a situation where you know what you see somebody else's side whereas maybe before you were being judgmental a little bit racist a little bit um you know a little bit uh ignorant closed-minded you might see meet somebody that's different than your usual type or different than your usual circle and you might empathize with them and see their point and that could change your whole outlook today and when things like that happen, it's because you're in need of healing, emotional healing. Many of us, we lack empathy. That, that is, I don't think anybody chooses not to have empathy. Either you have it or you don't. I don't think that's something you can control as far as like, let's say you are an empathetic person. You care about others' feelings. There's no way that you could like flip that off. It, that would always stay on. The light switch would always be on. But if you're a person that really, well, that's what they deserve. That's what they get. Well, they shouldn't have done that. Well, that's what they That's what they get. Yeah, that's. I don't feel bad. That's what they get. Oh, fuck them. That's what they deserve. Ha, ha, ha. Somebody's misfortune. So for those people that are like what I just described, something's going to trigger you and cause you to kind of spiritually awaken any time, and heal your heart and heal whatever anger you have towards somebody other than yourself. For some of you, you're going to experience self-love. If you talk to yourself like that, like, oh, I, I'm, I'm a low life and I deserve this. And everything that's bad that's happening, I guess I just deserve it. I guess I'm just no good. You're gonna, your emotions are going to be healing this weekend. So you might be crying a lot more. Some of you may get very, very angry and start screaming, breaking things. Some of you might want to sleep. There's some healing going on. Let yourself heal. Okay, now we've got Rosetta. You have a gift for working with young people. Your divine purpose involves helping, teaching, or parenting children. Some of you may be feeling overwhelmed. You might be like, I don't know if I'm cut out for all this. <laughs> Some of you may be step parents, picking up on strong energy of step parents. You know, a step parent's job is very, very important. You know, I, I had several, several stepfathers. My mom was married a lot. <laughs> and each and every one of them were so nice and so incredible. Not everybody hits that jackpot. I don't know how my mom hit that jackpot so many times. Thank God she did because unfortunately there's a lot of really rotten step parents out there. But basically this is a call to say if you are a step parent, you have a duty. You can either bring joy to somebody's life and really change their life or you can cause misery and damage somebody. So, so even if you are doing your very, very best and maybe the person that you're step parenting isn't seeing it and they're rebellious towards you and they act like an idiot and you want to beat the hell out, hell out of them and possibly leave your spouse or your boyfriend or girlfriend because of their children, wait a little bit longer. Give it a little bit more time because it shows that you'll be a very, very important part to this young person's life or this young adult's life or this preteen's life or this teenager's life. Um, so keep going. Also, if you're doubting yourself or downing yourself on your parenting, well, why can't I be like that parent over there? Why can't I be like this parent over there? 
be the best parent that you can be. It's your kid. I mean, it's that's what matters. Don't everybody's situation is different. Everybody's kid is different. Some people have to parent differently depending on what kind of child they have. So really your parenting has nothing to do with your parenting. It has to do with your child, how you parent. So if your kids are nuts, <laughs> no offense, if your kids don't listen, if your kids cause you trouble, if you can't take your kids anywhere because they're acting nuts, uh, that's your, that's, you gotta handle your situation how you handle it. So don't down yourself. You're doing the best you can and believe that. Um, of course, if you're locking your kids in the basement and beating them, um, change, please. All right, guys, that was your weekly spread or your weekend spread for all signs. Have an amazing weekend. JamieZebra23.com. If you'd like a personal reading, you can check out the website, JamieZebra23.com. My readings are 20 minutes, 40 minutes, and 60 minutes. I typically do your readings within 24 to 72 hours. I also have a new feature, same-day readings. It's a little pricier, but you do get your readings the same day. <coughs> I also have an $8 one question, one answer via email only. I typically answer, <coughs> excuse me. Oh, I typically answer you within about 20 minutes. Um, I've added tons of new stuff to the website. You should check it out, jamiezebra23.com. Ta-ta for now.